Hey everyone, what's up? It is the Pro here, and welcome to the RPG Maker 2003 Tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use the map controls. Alright, right now, I'm on what's known as Layer 1. Now, Layer 1 can be accessed by clicking up here, or by pressing F5, or if you're already on Layer 2, you can double right-click. You can do this, again, to get back to Layer 1. So you can use right-click by, um, by double-tapping right-click to toggle between Layer 1 and Layer 2, or you can go up here, uh, for layer 2 and press here or you can press F6 so then F5 layer 1 F6 layer 2 or just double right click or just click up here the event layer is F7 and it's used for eventing which I'm not going to be covering in this episode other than the ability to uh, set your player starting position by right clicking and there you go now then, to place the tile down you simply select the tile over here and you click on the map as, as you can see here you can also select multiple sections and do the same thing. Another trick you can do is hold right click on the map and then drag until you select a certain square. That's going to select whatever tiles that you had there on the map, on that certain layer, as you can see. To make water, you simply select the top left and start dragging some water. A really neat trick would be to hold right click and select the square of water and kind of just draw all over the place with it. It makes it look a little, a little bit more natural. Now on the second layer you have stuff like trees that you can place all over the place if you wanted to. Um, other parts of the hill as you can see I'm using here for these little hilltops. You have rocks and etc. And you have all, all those other kinds of stuff that you can use uh, to do decorating. Now as you can see down here I have a small piece of wood. Normally what happens when you place this is it, put, it puts grass around it. You can, you can avoid this by holding shift and then drawing. That way, it'll know not to update the tiles around it. These types of tiles here, like water, are known as auto tiles, as well as these little world map tree things. Auto tiles get updated when another tile is placed around it, such as this, for example. However, however by holding shift, you can avoid that. But it doesn't look right with trees, but with water you can use it to kind of make a little bridge if you needed to, if you don't have the bridge on the second layer. Dragging and dropping a map onto another one will kind of branch the maps together. If you want to clear it, simply drag it onto your folder. Now when making a new map, you'll see something similar to this, where you can name your map, you can select the tile set, in this case I chose basic, and you can do the map size. You can also make the map loop if you wanted to. Now here's where you can set troops and, and stuff like that, but I'm, gonna, I'm not going to go over that in this episode, I'll do that later on. And you have the generate dungeon method as well, if you want to do that. Up here you have the pen tool, you have the rectangle tool which allows you to draw a square, as you can see. You have the oval tool up here which allows you to draw a circle. And you have the paint tool which allows you to fill in uh, tiles of the same type. That's all for this episode, and I'll see you guys later. Thank you all so much for watching. Peace out.